to never show a sign of lying. So I, I go back in history because I agree with you, dude. I agree that 99.99999% of sightings and everything else that you get are either people just, well, it's a pain in the ass being on TV because half most of those people are the people who just want to meet me. And then the other part of those people are people that are whacked out or misidentification. But that point one 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 percent or whatever it is are real, man. And that's the that's the that's the ones I chase. That's the ones I go after. Just like this little kid that saw whatever the hell it was he saw, that that is the ones that I run after, man, because those those are the ones that I can't prove that they've been hoaxed. Those are the ones that are going to be provide that little bit of DNA, that little bit of of information that I can share and prove that these freaking things exist, man. And I can tell you with with fact a federal government test. It's it's something that we've seen in history since the beginning of history, man. I'm talking to the Bible. And, and if you want to go further back than that, look up the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch refers to the Nephilim. The Nephilim are fallen angels. The Nephilim were see, thought to be giants, right? right? Yeah. And they see that these giants were so large that, that the people who saw them felt as though they were like crickets, I believe, or grasshoppers, I believe. So, like, these things were, were big. They were 10 feet tall, you know? And... You know, through history, through the Bible, through all of this, you can track Sasquatch to the very beginnings of time. And, and that's why I truly feel that this thing is most likely a Neanderthal. But, you know, people think about the Nephilim, and, and that's a whole different show. I can talk about the Nephilim well, I'm, until I'm familiar everybody with the Nephilim. Yeah, I've studied, I've studied about them, so I'm familiar with that. So people feel that the Bigfoot is somehow re- related to the Nephilim. I do not personally. I think I that. do not. I don't. I don't see that parallel. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, in Bigfooty, you got a, a broad spectrum of, of researchers and how they feel. You know, this thing came about. But sure. You know, uh, when you really look at it, definitely uh, documentation of these Sasquatch through history. You know, so. It can't be a U.S. government thing, and I hate to cut you off and be, you know, be all Bigfoot guy, but you know, <laughs> it, it, it's 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 true, you know, and maybe you know, I guess if you really look at history, uh, you look back at, at Hitler. He tried to mate humans and gorillas together in order to create this perfect soldier. Are you familiar with that plan? Yeah. So you're right. There were definitely government experiments that tried to produce the most ultimate warrior ever through splicing DNA with humans and gorillas, but it didn't work. They tried, man. If Hitler could have pulled that shit off, can you imagine us out here trying to fight a bunch of damn human gorillas? Dude, that would have sucked. And basically, if they could have made that happen, you would have seen us fighting human gorillas in World War II. (coughs) And that's straight up the truth, you know. Well, and that was documented. I, I, I can also can argue that somewhat, somewhat. Um, Hitler also created the very first UFO, flying saucer, and that never really made it anywhere further than whatever. Yeah, you're totally right, man. Absolutely. You know, Germans made flying saucers for sure. You know, but. <laughs> Hitler was a, was a crazy genius, man. He, he was he able to take genius. crazy ideas before he went nuts and wanted to kill everybody. He was a freaking genius, man. Yeah, but yeah. He, but, well, know, most he, of the crazy he, people are, are, are kind of bright and, and intelligent. Right, right. He decided to do a whole bunch of meth or something, man. He went wacko and decided to kill everybody on the planet. But before that, the dude was badass. He was, like, super smart, man. But, you know, that methamphetamine crap, it just melted right in the jello. He was all fucked. He was perfectly fine until he did some pot, and that was it. Yeah, he was all fucked up. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, man. And But anyway, guy, I am freezing my balls off. I got to get out of here. I got to, like, go to Hooters and have a beer. I mean, that's where we're going. That's, 
You know, if anybody wants to come out, hang out with us, we are going to the Hooters in Dayton, Ohio, right now. I want to go to Dayton, Ohio, for some odd reason. I'll bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my but, own uh, Hooters, so I'll be keeping myself warm over here just fine. <laughs> why don't, why don't, before, you get off, before you get off, why don't you tell everybody where people can contact you? Besides uh, Dayton, Ohio, at the uh, Hooters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think really the best thing to do is Google my name. My name is Bill Brock, and I was on the TV show Monsters Underground. That's the easiest thing to do. You can get on YouTube, Google my name on YouTube, or actually just search my name on YouTube, Bill Brock, and it pretty much pulls up everything you could ever want to know. Uh, Find me on Facebook, and feel free to chat with me. You know, I definitely chat with everyone. I'm not one of these TV guys that uh, ignore people. I will talk to you. If you have any questions at all, I'll, I'll help. And again, if you want any of my information that I've ever gathered on Bigfoot, ask me. I'll give it to you. And so, uh, yeah, get a hold of me, man. I'd love to talk to everybody that wants to talk to me. Excellent. And uh, on that note, why don't we go to our last commercial break of the evening, and uh, we shall return in a few minutes, everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining us, you guys. That was a lot of fun. That was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate it. All right. We'll hope to talk to you guys again soon.
Stop, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Coach Cat Radio. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I have no Hi. idea what the fuck kind of noises are happening right now, but we got weird noises and shit. But uh, <laughs> I am the host of Paranormal Rebel Jason Stanton, and with me as always, I have the diva in the house. So. That's right. That's right. And we're done with our guests tonight. They were fantastic. AJ and Bill Brock, you guys, from Destination America. Uh, Monsters Underground from the Discovery Channel. If you guys haven't yeah. checked them out, you really need to. Um, again, they've, they've been picking up following um, every week that the show's been on. Uh, Bill Brock also has some amazing videos on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, he's got a lot of stuff out there. You should really check it out. It's really interesting. He's, I mean, these guys are crawling around in caves and shit. They're camping out in freezing weather. Bill's built an amazing drone. He's got night vision flying that thing all over the country, but okay. they're just, I mean, they're looking for weird creatures, they're investigating strange science, animals, minerals, ghosts, hot babes, you name it, uh, these guys are checking it out, and I mean, tonight they're out there uh, seeing what's popping at Hooters, so if you're in Dayton, Ohio, head on out to Hooters, and um, the guys would love to talk to you over there. Um or if you just want to check out some Hooters, you might want to head over. So, uh, <laughs> hey, you're talking out. about a, a show that is dominated by males, I think. At least I, I believe. Did you know uh, that yeah. on, a, on, a, on a Tuesday night, we average about 70,000 listeners? I know we do. And I would say that uh, 69,000 of them at least are probably male. So I'm pretty sure somebody wants to head out for some wings and Hooters. Uh, with the guys from Monsters Underground, and I'm sure we've got some great fans out there in a Dayton, Ohio area as well. So, um, yeah, but and if you, you want to know the, the the more paranormal side to that 70,000 listeners? Yeah, yeah. We only have 6,000 likes on the fan page. What numbers numbers aren't adding up? I'm telling you, they're not adding up. We get all these listeners every week, and and no one is on the Facebook fan page giving us a like. Well, I'm going to need to bitch about this because what is that about, you guys? And I have, God, between my pages on Facebook, I've got about, I've got at least 9,000, pretty close to 9,000 friends on Facebook. Some of them are not paranormal friends. So at least 8,000 of them have to be mostly paranormal friends. At least 7,000 of them are probably ghost hunters of some sort sort or you know most of them most of you are at least metaphysical friends in some way or another uh so at any rate y'all should be fans of the ghost chat radio fan page i mean what harm is there in stopping by and giving us a like and i know that those of you that have popped on by to the paranormal diva fan page and the ghost chat fan page i usually reciprocate a like on back i'm gonna uh, blow your mind even more i'm gonna blow your mind even more right now We've got, right now, Jenny just messaged me and said we're at 75,000 listeners right now. And on Video Bash, right now, and on Video Bash, we have 252,000, 252,000 hits. And we only have 6,000 likes, 6,000 likes on the fan page. Why do we only have 6,000 likes on the fan page? Oh, my God. If you are out there listening to Ghost Chat Radio on Video Bash right now, I dare you to go over to the Ghost Chat Radio fan page on Facebook and give us a like. We should easily be up to at least 50,000 likes on there. This is crazy. And not only that, why can't we get some decent interaction on that page from you guys? And for that matter... Um, I was actually ready to put out a challenge tonight. In fact, I didn't get a chance to do this because we jumped right into our um, interview tonight with Bill. But, um, you know, I was looking today, Jay, at the Mirror, one of my favorite news sites. And, you know, I was noticing on the Mirror, you know, we all know that that's a U.K. site. But I love that crazy Brit news. Uh, They have a thing going on right now, your ghost stories. Readers chilling tales of mysterious figures and haunted houses. And you know how I love that. But you guys, come on. We are Ghost Chat Radio. We are Ghost Chat Radio in the U.S., damn it. Uh, 